In our other video in uh, this lesson, we did a little bit of practice completing the square on an expression where we were just given information like, um, oh, I don't know, 4x plus 6x, or 4x squared, I'm sorry, plus 6x, and asked to complete the square for that expression. What I want to do here is use a question that was sent in by a young lady named Ashlyn, um, which is asking us to use completing the square to actually solve an equation. So we're going to use that same uh, sort of process that we used in completing the square for an expression, only we're going to apply it to an actual equation. So she said that she's asked to solve w squared minus 4w equals 17, and she says, how the heck do I do that? <laughs> so let's go through this real quick and do the completing the square. So we start with our original equation, w squared minus 4w. And what I want to do when I write in, uh, write down an equation where I know I'm going to be completing the square, I usually leave a space because I know I'm going to be adding a term in there to make the square complete. So I'm going to leave a space and then I'll put equals 17 on the other side. Now the only real difference between solving an equation completing the square and actually just completing the square in an expression is that you have to remember that whatever you do to one side, you have to do to the other side. And that your goal in the long run is to get one side of the equation equal to zero so that you can solve it. So what we want to do here is complete this square, but whatever we do to complete it, we need to do the other side also. Now, the rule or the, the tool for completing the square is one half b squared. So what we want to do is take b, which is the coefficient of our w or our x term, whichever your variable happens to be, and we want to take half of that and square it. So one half of b would be negative two, and negative 2 squared would be 4. So we want to add that to this side of our equation to complete the square. But now that we've added 4 to this side, we need to add 4 to this side. That's the extra step that's required when you have an actual equation. So now we have w squared minus 4w plus 4 equals 21. And this is now a, a perfect square. It's half of this and then the square root of this. So we have the square root of w squared is w and half of b is negative 2, so it's w minus 2 quantity squared. And that's why we did what we did, so that now we can just write this as a square term. And that's equal to 21. So now we take the square root of both sides, and we get w minus 2. So I'll write in that square root so we can follow along visually. There we go. w minus 2 equals the square root of 21. And then add 2 to both sides, and we get w equals the square root of 21 minus 2. And that's it. And that was a reasonably complex example, actually. So you'll see that it's not particularly difficult as compared to completing the square for an expression. Just make sure you do the same thing to both sides.